Welcome to another amazing Sunday. You know, we're learning about growing up like Jesus in humility. Today, we're learning about growing up like Jesus in wisdom. So, you know, Luke 2, 52 says that, and Jesus grew in stature, in wisdom, and in favor with God and men. Today, we are learning how Jesus grew in stature, in wisdom, and in favor with God and men, especially the wisdom part. So, get your notepads, get your pen, and let us learn. Now we are going to have our praise and worship session. Are you ready to dance? Yes, let's do this. Separate me from your love. Whoa. 
something about you, Lord, I cannot tell it all. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Na 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 na. E yo 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 yo. Oh kaka. Ili ne mere mu odima. E yo 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 yo. Oh kaka. Ili ne mere mu odima. And what do we do when we want to pray? Eyes closed, hands together. Again, eyes closed, hands together. Now, let's close our eyes our put and put our hands together. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, dear Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise and we worship you for all of the good things that you've done for us. We thank you for good health. We thank you for keeping our mommies and daddies and for healing us when any of us is sick. Lord, we say thank you. Now, dear Lord, as we are about to listen to today's lesson, we ask that you grant us wisdom and understanding you grant we the children and our teachers wisdom and understanding to understand all that we are going to be taught today in jesus name we have prayed in jesus name we have prayed and we say very loud amen now let us settle down quietly and listen to today's lesson let us sit down quietly 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 and listen to today's lesson hello friend and to former here again with another amazing bible lesson i love bible lessons because they teach me about Jesus. I know you do too. So today, we are going to be learning about growing up like Jesus in wisdom. So what is wisdom? Wisdom is knowing the right thing to say or do every time without telling lies. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever done anything wrong before? I mean, something, anything. Or have you ever made a mistake before? Hmm. I have, and I know you have too. So let's learn about the story of the woman who did something wrong in the Bible. A long time ago, some people brought a woman to Jesus. This woman did something wrong. She made a mistake. She broke God's command. And they knew Jesus was wise. But they wanted to hear what Jesus had to say about what this woman did wrong. And so they said, Hey Jesus, this woman has done something wrong. She has broken God's command. What do you think we should do to her? Jesus knew that they were trying to trick him into giving the wrong answer. But he was not in a hurry to speak. He was slow to speak. 
he took his time to allow the Holy Spirit tell him what to say. And he did this by writing on the sand. When it was time for Jesus to speak, he told them, if any one of you has never made a mistake or done something wrong before, then be the first to punish this woman. Hmm, that was quite surprising. That wasn't what they expected. But guess what? None of them could punish the woman because they knew they have all done something wrong or made a mistake. And so they all walked away one after the other. So you see, Jesus' wisdom saved the woman from trouble. And just like Jesus, you can grow up to become wise boys and girls. And that means you will know the exact thing to say at the right time or the right thing to do without telling lies. Two ways you can do that is one, by reading your Bible, and two, asking God to make you wise. A memory verse is found in Luke chapter 2, verse 40. It says, and the child Jesus grew up strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Remember, like Jesus, you too can grow up to become wise boys and girls. And what are the two ways we talked about? Reading your Bible and asking God to make you wise. That will be everything for now. Until next time, bye. Hey, hey, we are back. I hope you had an amazing time learning all about growing up like Jesus in wisdom. And I hope that everything that you have learned in today's service, you're going to apply in school, in your recreational centers, anywhere you are because we are children of God and like our confession says we are children of God we are loved by God we are forgiven by God now have an amazing week bye I'm sure that we all understood everything that we were taught today and now let us say the grace together in fellowship and what do we do when we want to say the grace we put our right hands on our chest. Again, we put our right hands on our chest. So now, let us put our right hands on our chest and say the grace after me. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen and we'll say again surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow me all of the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of the Lord forevermore. Amen. And the last one, the lines are falling unto me in pleasant places. And yes, I have a goodly heritage of the Lord. Amen. That was awesome, children. See you all next week. Bye.